Good morning. What's going on, y'all? I hope everybody is having a great Friday and your mind is not off in too many places because our mind should be stayed on the Lord. Okay, what's going on? Where's your mind? Are we concerning ourselves with things of the world and letting it stress us out and worry us? Or are we in our word and listening to the promises the Lord has given us? Which one are you going to do? We can't do both. Yes, we're human. We're going to have emotions. Like I always say, we're going to have things that happen in our life that can bring us down. We are, but we have to make a decision to be led by the spirit and not by our flesh and what our flesh tells us and how our flesh tells us to respond, how our flesh tells us to feel and act, right? Um, again, we're going to have feelings. So I'm not, I'm not playing that. I'm not disregarding that. I get in my feelings sometimes too, but then I got to tell my flesh to be quiet because I know what my Lord told me. I know the promises he's given me. So why are we concerned with things, um, things that we know the Lord has, for one, already told us it's going to happen. And for two, that, you know, are basically out of our control. But we know that the Lord is going to take care of his children regardless. So let's look at Isaiah 26 3 it tells us you will keep him in perfect peace okay perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you so that's whose mind is stayed on the lord rest yourself in the lord and it's saying whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you so who are you trusting in my friend who are you trusting in the lord or what you see on the news who are you trusting in? Your feelings or what the word tells us? If you're going to believe the word and you're going to believe in the Lord, believe the word in the Lord. You can't do both. We can't be in the world and believe in what the world tells us and then half in on what the word of God says. So make your choice today, my loves. We have the Lord. What do we have to fear? A man? What can they do to us? We have the Lord, okay? Fear is from the enemy. Again, I'm not disregarding that these, these emotions and feelings can come up because it happens to me too. But then you got to shut that thing down, okay? Rebuke them, them feelings in the name of Jesus. When you start realizing that this is a spiritual fight, this is not a fight against a person, this is not a fight against um, the flesh, right? This is a fight against the spirit. So again, if you get in your word and you let the Holy Spirit lead you, he will give you understanding of what is going on. Everybody else, it may not understand. The carnal mind, just us without the spirit, we're not going to be able to grasp what is going on, right? But if you know the Lord and you hear his voice and let him talk to you and guide you through this, he will tell you exactly what's going on. We may not know all his ways and understand why things are happening, but let the spirit guide you today, my loves. Don't be guided by the world. Don't be in the news all day long. Go get in your word. Go get in your word. Are we going to believe the Lord, what he says, or are we going to believe what we see? Okay, so go war in prayer if you're concerned. Go go pick up your word and to declare what the word of God tells us. Because we know at the end of the day, you know, what the Lord says is true. And we're going to see things start to be revealed, you know, as these are the birth pains, you know, and things are happening. So again, I encourage you to get in your word, get in the spirit and get out of the flesh. Ask the Lord to help you. Again, we have power and authority because of Jesus in his name. Rebuke that thing. Okay. In the name of Jesus, because guess what? The enemy is more scared of us, right? He tries to scare us and make us walk in fear. But what are we scared of? We have authority and power in the name of Jesus Christ. So you better start declaring and telling the enemy to get up out of here. Okay? He has no reign and rule over you, your thoughts, your family, your friends, whomever. You know, you can declare in the name of Jesus. Again, we can't determine what's going to happen in the world. We can't... Um, we can't determine what our friends and family do, but we can pray for them. We can plead the blood over them. And for definitely, you know, we, as for me, I will serve the Lord in my house. So I'm going to be rebuking the bad feelings. I'm going to be rebuking the devil in the name of Jesus. Okay. So I just encourage you today to, to walk with the Lord, to turn that TV off. Stop checking it every two seconds. 
you know, get off Instagram and, you know, Facebook if you need to and go take some time with the Lord. Give him your best, not your last. Trust in his word. You can't do both. Because if we go and worry, what's the point of asking him to take care of us? What's the point of saying we believe in his word if we're going to choose worry over trusting him and worshiping him? So don't, you know, believe the lies of the enemy. He wants you to get in your feelings. He wants you to be hurt. He wants you to think a man can control everything. Yes, again, we need to be praying. We need to be interceding. We need to be praying for, you know, it's souls to be saved through this process, for God to protect whatever leader is chosen but we need to be in his face at the end of at the end of the day the beginning of the day we need to be seeking god and that's on that okay because for real at the end of the day we're all gonna have to answer to him one day ourselves. nobody's gonna be there with us to answer for us we're gonna be face to face with jesus one day that's whether we like to hear that or not it is what it is he loves us but what are you doing how's your walk with him going who are you trusting in are you trusting in the lord I didn't expect to give this message this morning, but when the Lord puts something on you and, you know, I'm trying to get better at being obedient <laughs> and stop worrying about what people think. But, hey, I got to do what I got to do. At this point, I could care less if people think I'm crazy, radical for Christ. Absolutely. I sure am because I know where my help comes from and I know who I'm going to answer to one day. And I know that, you know, prophecy, everything is being fulfilled in the Bible. So, guys, wake up. Wake up. This is a message out of love. This is a message from the Lord. Like, I know this is him talking through me. So what I'm saying is, guys, just get your thoughts together. Go pray. Go get in the secret place with the Lord. You know, when was the last time you went and really got in the Lord's face and spent time with him? You know, not an Instagram like, an Instagram post, a, a Instagram, a scripture put on Instagram. When was the last time you really spent time with the Lord? It's time, y'all. It's time to get it together. This stuff is not a game. This is not a joke. I don't know when Jesus is coming back, but let me tell you, there are days when I get a sense of urgency in my spirit, y'all. This is not a game. Uh, uh, urgency in my spirit. When he's like, I'm coming, tell my people. I'm giving you a chance to get it right. Guys, get it right while we have the chance. So I'm going to be obedient and I'm going to be on here telling telling you what the Lord told me to tell you. And y'all, time is ticking. It could, be the, it could be 10 years from now, it could be tomorrow. I don't know. But let me tell you, just get it together. Because why would you want to wait Excuse me, until the last minute? Why, my friends? Why would you want to wait until the last minute? Like I posted before, we don't even know when our last minute is going to be. You might not even get a, a last breath to ask, you know, Jesus, please come into my heart. Choose him today. He already chose us. That's the great thing. He already chose us. He loved us. He promised he's preparing a place for us. So, y'all, I just encourage you, get in the word. The Lord is for real. He's, he loves us. He's going to come back for us. He's, he's protecting his people. So, you know, focus on your walk with the Lord and not what you see, okay? Focus on your walk with the Lord. Remember his promises to his children, okay? And stop dibbling and dabbling in multiple things and open up your word and believe your word. Believe what the Lord said because it is real, Okay? It's time. It's time to get it together and turn back to Jesus. It's time. Again, I didn't expect to be talking like this this morning or putting this message out, but uh, whew, I can feel the Lord and it's time, y'all. Get it together. Focus on the Lord, okay? But in other news, have a happy Friday and keep the Lord first, okay? Bye.